two, find three consecutive integers. So once again, it says to find three. So the three consecutive integers will be first one to n, add one to n, we get n plus one, third one to n plus two. All they're asking for is three, so stop there. Once again, such that means equation starting. Now they're going to start making the equations a little bit more challenging, so be careful. Twice the sum means to multiply two times what? Two times the, the, the sum, right? Uh, and to multiply two times the sum requires the use of parentheses. So be careful. They're, again, with word problems, they're going to say, oh, by the way, use parentheses here. They're going, to, they're going to use words that are going to imply parentheses. So to multiply by a sum or difference requires parentheses. And then sum of, right, and then the first two, all right? This is the same way of saying the first and second, right? So the first n added to the second n plus 1. Okay, so there's an implied and there. So the sum of the first two, the first one plus the second one. I've seen people just put n plus 1 because they, it seems like too many n's are happening here. But again, the first one is n added to the second one, n plus 1. We're using the same letter to represent two different things. Make sure that you treat them as they are. So here's the first added to the second. So that's the sum of the first two. We're doing twice that sum. Okay, once again, the word is is equals. Anytime we do a less than or greater than, we ignore that till the very end. Then it says three times the third. Now, again, I want to caution you about the use of parentheses. What is the third? I'm questioning you. How many objects is that? Two. Two, right? If I want to multiply three times the third, and the third is being represented by more than one object, three times the third in parentheses. Okay. Parentheses get used quite a bit in these problems, so be careful. Anytime you're going to be multiplying something, think about should I use parentheses or not. If I'm doing three times the first, that's just three in, right? That's no, nothing to it, no parentheses necessary. But three times this or three times that require parentheses around that. And it says all this stuff is two less than all this stuff, so a minus two goes on this side. The two less than happens after the word is, so we put the minus two after the equal sign at the very end of the problem. Right. So again, same context of the problem, difference is how do you write the equation, it's a little bit more challenging. Um, We've been writing equations since lesson 31, so I mean, they're going to jump into the uglier structures right away here. As far as simplifying this is concerned, um, I could add the like terms inside the parentheses first. I could have also done 2 times n, 2 times n, 2 times 1. I could distribute right away, take your pick. Um, if I did add these together first, n plus n is 2n. Now I distribute. 2 times 2n is 4n, 2 times 1 is 2. So left hand side, 4n plus 2 is the simplest I can get that to be. On the right hand side, I can't make n plus 2 any simpler, so doing 3 times both things immediately is probably useful. So 3n plus 6 and then minus 2. This minus 2 is not inside the parentheses, so it's just coming along for the right. Uh, combine like terms here, I get 3n plus 4. So 4n plus 2 equals 3n plus 4. Left hand right hand side are both as simple as possible. So now if I just slide the 3n over to the left and move the 2 over to the right, in both cases changing a positive, move across the equal sign to a negative. Left hand side 4n minus 3n makes 1n. Right hand side 4 minus 2 makes 2. So that just tells me n equals 2, n's representing my first integer. We want a list of three integers, so First integer is 2, add 1, get 3, add 1 to that, you get 4. 2, 3, and 4 would be all three integers.